Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part four in my makeup and declutter series. This video is actually going to go up on Thursday, but I'm gonna try, fingers crossed, I can be successful in this. I'm gonna try and do a palette week next week normally i would do a palette week at the end of september slash beginning of october and i was debating whether or not i was going to do it because i just did a palette week at the end of august but that august palette week was incredibly late and i love posting about i love posting palette themed content i've been trying to post my declutter series every single thursday but there's that weird part in my brain like the perfectionist in me that feels like i have to post this video like I can't wait a week and post it after palette week. And then there's like the other part of me that doesn't feel like I can interrupt palette week with a declutter video just to post it on Thursday. Like I have my other declutter videos. So we're bringing you part four today and then part five will go up either Thursday or Friday of this week. And part five is the finale of my declutter series. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Today is going to be all of my eye products, excluding eyeshadow, excluding eyeshadow palettes. If you want to see my palette declutter, I will have that linked down below, but it is going to be mascara, eye primer, brows, and then like single shadows, liquid shadows, things like that. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna start this eye category out with mascaras just because I don't think there's really any mascara I'm going to declutter or get rid of. Mascara is something I've always on like a constant no buy for because you get so many like free mascaras with things. I will say I got these two. I asked my mom to buy these for me last year when they were on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. These are the Urban Decay Lash Freaks. They were half off and I love this mascara formula. So I did ask for these. Um, but aside from that, I have a Maybelline Sky High. I have an e.l.f. Big Mood. They sent two of these over to me. Um, this is a second tube I'm going through. I really like this. I have the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes, which honestly I have not been super impressed with. Let's see. I have this one from Give Them Lala Beauty. I have the Merit Beauty Mascara. I have a couple of minis from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex Mascara. I also have the Ilia. This is the new one. Not the original. I love the original Ilia Mascara, and honestly, I love this mascara as well. I think Ilia does mascara so good i'm like is that even in frame um i have two of these minis i have this one from mac i have the milk kush mascara i have the tenty doll mascara from, from lancome i have the tarte lights camera lashes i have the nar or no the velour lashes mascara i have the nars plant max extreme i should open this one next because i was super curious about this when i got this and i feel like it's been over a year now I also have a Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. I've already gone through at least one of these in the past. It was okay, not a fave. I have this one from Dose. Dose? I have a couple from Chanel. These three are all from Chanel. Um, they are the La Volume Mascara and La Base. I assume this must be like a primer, maybe. I have one from Pure. This is the Fully Charged. I have the Dior Show Mascara, the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, and then the Well People Mascara. So these are all my mascaras. Uh, some of these are probably really old. I have been trying to like go in order of like what I can remember getting last. I also typically have like four mascaras open at a time. So I constantly have like a bunch open, but this is my mascara collection. I have 26 currently in my collection. These won't be going anywhere. Okay, next up for eyes, I have brows. And I don't feel like, where are we? Here we are. I don't feel like I'm gonna get rid of any of my brow products either. Um, I have the Rowan Vow Brow, the NYX Brow Pencil. I have this one from Fenty Beauty. These are my brow pencils. I have this one from Undone Beauty. So this is like a brow pen on one side. And then it is a tinted brow gel on the other. This has been like my favorite product of all time. If I could close this maybe. What the heck? There we go. Okay. And then it's a tinted brow gel. I accidentally opened this a little bit. A tinted brow gel on the other side. This has been like my go-to. I am obsessed with this product. I want to like continue to repurchase this after I finish it. And I pair it with the NYX brow glue for right now. This should be an empty 
within the next few months for sure before the end of the year and then i do have two other no just one other brow glue i have the brow setter from benefit but i do have these two brow setting glue-ish products if you will so i have the elf brow lift which is a favorite of mine. This is such a good product, especially from the drugstore, but like not even taking into account this is a drugstore product. This is incredible. So I'll definitely be keeping this. I actually wonder if I could maybe just declutter the soap brows. Ooh, that has some condensation on it. Maybe this is, does that mean it's gone bad? I don't know. I don't know. That has a lot of condensation on it. Okay, I wiped the condensation off. I don't know if that means this product has gone bad or not, or if that's just like a normal thing, but actually looking at all of this, I have the brow lift from e.l.f. And I really love like a brow glue in the eyes with a tinted brow gel. I've just been loving this pairing so, so much. I have this tinted brow gel from Huda Beauty, which I really love, the Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy, that I just feel like I'm never gonna really feel like I want to reach for this from Patrick Ta. This is the Tinted Brow Wax. I'm sure there's like a lot of people who would really love a product like this, and I actually really did enjoy this at one point in time, but my brow style has just changed a little bit, so I actually think I can declutter this. Everything else, oh no, 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 I do wanna declutter this from ColourPop as well. This is the brow boss gel i have mine in the shade soft black and i just don't think it's a good shade for me so i'm going to declutter this just because i'd rather use like my huda beauty one or just purchase another undone beauty by the way i have my i don't know what shade i have in the undone beauty but i'm going to declutter the ColourPop brow boss gel um this from nyx i just picked up this is the thicket stick it thickening brow mascara because i really like this nyx brow glue i thought it'd be fun to try their tinted brow gel so i purchased that and then i just have this little kosas air brow clear lifting brow glue slash brow gel as well i got this as like a free gift or something but i'll keep this as well so i basically have four ish like brow setters slash brow glues and then i have two tinted brow gels if you will no three three and then four brow pen slash crayons if you will so i feel actually i don't feel overwhelmed or anything by my brow collection um but we'll be decluttering two and keeping the rest okay there might be a couple eyeliners like um liquid black eyeliners that are currently with my makeup brushes but i have i believe 36 eyeliners currently in my collection um eyeliner is not something i get super excited about but i'm okay with having eyeliners in like various colors as long as like i don't have a ton of repeating shades i will say i don't mind having like black liquid liners in my collection and then maybe like one black pencil maybe two brown like deep brown shades are shades that i wear quite a bit so i'm fine with having a couple of those but that's kind of my thought process as we go through so i have this nyx epic ink liner that i will be keeping i'm just gonna put my keeps in my mug um i will likely keep all of my nyx 24 7 glide on pencils i'm gonna set those aside for right now and look at let's see how close like I don't think these two are gonna be close at all, but I just am a little curious. Ooh, this one from ColourPop. Oh, this one from ColourPop. This, oh my goodness, that keeps breaking. Okay, I feel like this cream gel liner is expired and old. This was in the shade Icebreaker, so I'm gonna declutter this. I have this one from LA Girl. This is the Shockwave eyeliner in the shade Fresh. It's like this bright neon mint, keeping that. I will likely keep all of my electric shock waves. This is the only one I'm like, do I really need this? But I don't really have something like this in my collection. This is the neon green eyeliner in the shade Gotcha. Do I need a green like this? Ugh. Yeah, I feel like that adds value. The only other like brighter green that I have would be this one, and that's very different. So this one is the Urban Decay shade in freak i'll keep that as well um okay so then we have this neon blue this is in the shade electric i really like that shade definitely keeping that and then i have this bright yellow one as well in the shade 
screaming, which I will also be keeping. I do really like the LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliners. I think they have obviously great pigmentation, but they also have a really good lasting power. Let's look at these two purples, which may be similar. Okay, so up first I have another one from LA Girl. It's the Shockwave in the shade Vivid. I will not lie, these purple, like, I feel like if I'm going for a purple, I'm not gonna really reach for something like this. I feel like I would look for something more like pale purple or like even a white or a nude in the line, in the waterline. This one is from Wet n Wild. This is their multi stick in the shade. Well, I'm not sure of the shade. It's a color icon. I don't know the shade. Do I, I for sure I'm gonna declutter this one from LA Girl. I just feel like this is not a shade I'm gonna reach for. I'm trying to think if I wanna keep this one from Wet n Wild. I feel like I will, just cause I feel like that's unique to my collection. That's a shade I could see myself using cause it's more like lilac or at least a little bit paler, but I am gonna declutter this one from LA Girl. Oh, what else am I seeing right away? Okay, so this billion dollar brows, I don't know why this is included in my eyeliners. I think it's cause I have like this concealer end, which I wanna use as like an eyeshadow base or primer. Oopsies. And it's like this nude shade, but like, oh, I've kept this in my collection for so long, thinking someday I'm gonna use it, but I don't know that I really am. Do I want to keep this or do I not? Like, I feel like I'm not going to use it. I'm going to declutter this. I just feel like I'm not. I've kept this with the intent to reach for it, thinking I'm going to reach for it. And it's like at least two declutters I can call, recall that I'm like, I'm going to keep it because I'm definitely going to use it. And I have not reached for this one time. So I'm going to declutter that. What else do we have here before we get into like the everyday shades? I don't know. Okay, let's test this one out from ColourPop. This is in the shade, it's the cream gel liner or the creme gel liner in one of the BFF ones as well. It's this pale yellow. Ooh, that definitely works better than that other one from ColourPop that I needed to declutter. And I actually really like that. Okay, I will be keeping this one. I, that's a cool shade. I don't feel like I have a lot that's super similar. Let's swatch these two. I think these are my two like nude or ivory shades. This is from Sephora. This is the waterproof crayon. What shade is this? Six Blonde Ambition perhaps? Ooh, that's pretty and that still gli glides right on. That's like a metallic. That's super pretty. Okay, I'll keep that. And then I have this one from Essence, which I also know I'll be keeping. This is like a true ivory nude, which I love to have. I love the Essence eyeliner formula. I think it's such a good one. It's the Everlasting or Extreme Lasting Eye Pencils. This one is specifically in the shade Silky Nude. I also love the shade Two, but first Espresso. It's a perfect like dark brown shade. Okay, let's look at... Should we do like blues next? Okay, let's swatch these. Actually, okay, let's do this. So I have this NYX Jumbo Pencil, which I will be keeping. This is like a white. It's in the shade 6 Milk. I clearly use this over top of like a pink look, but I do like having this as a white base. It's super creamy, really easy to use. I'll be keeping that, um, but I do want to start swatching. Let's actually swatch this one, another purple that I don't feel like I'll use. This is from Urban Decay. It's a 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade Voodoo. There it is right there. That's actually pretty, but am I really gonna reach? I feel like I'm just not gonna reach for a deep purple like this. Even doing like a purple look, I'm perfectly happy reaching for like a dark brown shade. I can't remember if slash when I've ever reached for this. So I am gonna declutter this one from Urban Decay. And then I do wanna swatch my blues just cause I don't reach for specifically like navy blue eyeliner all that often. So I wanna see how similar mine are. Here is Urban Decay main line. Then I have Urban Decay Goddess, which I'll swatch right below. Ooh, Goddess is like this blue with like almost like black. It's almost like a black base with like blue sparkle running through, but like am I ever gonna reach for that i'm not sure i have the nabla cupid's arrow in the shade six which is like a true deep navy and i do love the nabla formula okay let me swatch even though this is more of like a teal this is the la girl metallic eyeliner the part of the shock wave in the shade dragon 
Oh yeah, that's like a true teal green. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm gonna keep this one for sure from LA Girl. And then I also wanna swatch this one from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Viper. Ooh, that's super pretty as well. It's like this metallic sparkly teal shade. Okay, definitely keeping that. So I think I can for sure declutter this one from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Goddess. That's this one right here. It's like the black base with the glittery, almost like glitter, blue glitter running through it. I think I can declutter that. But I think I'll keep Mainline and then my Nabla Cupid's Era number six. I don't have another navy eyeliner and I do want to keep one on hand. And then I do feel like that color is also unique to my collection. I don't necessarily know that I'll reach for this one on an all that frequent basis but i do want to keep that for right now so i'll keep those two i've already decluttered five eyeliners which is more than i thought i was going to so i'm already like patting myself on the back for this let me swatch this one this is one of the mark jacobs pencils this is in i think it's like wine jazzberry yeah. clearly i've got wine on my mind this one's older it's starting to get kind of sticky it's this metallic purpley brown shade i think i'm gonna declutter this just because this one's super old in my collection i really probably shouldn't be putting this on my eyes anymore so i'm comfortable getting rid of that because i have so many other similar shades i feel like that i could just replace this with one of them being this one from urban decay okay those aren't that similar at all but this is urban decay tiger's eye i really love this i'm currently working on painting that in my uh project pan my rolling project 10 pan then I have this one from Urban Decay. Those are more similar. I also love this one. Actually, I feel like I could finish this one with just a little bit of effort. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Starfire. I feel like I've tried to pan this in the past and wasn't successful. That's a super beautiful copper shade. I will be keeping that. I can tell you right now, I will be keeping all three of these from Nabla. So I have the Cupid's Arrow in the shade, let's see, which shade is this? Five, which is a really beautiful, kind of warm toned brown and then i have shade seven which is a little bit more of like a milk chocolate brown there's seven and then i also have shade i think this is two yes shade two which is even deeper like a really beautiful espresso brown this is like my favorite shade of eyeliner to wear so definitely keeping all three of those i love the novel eyeliner formula all right that leaves us with these okay so these two from urban decay i'll definitely be keeping unless they swatch terribly this one needs to be sharpened um but that's such a beautiful metallic shade that almost has like a hint of a green to it this is in the shade space dust Gosh, it's been so long since I've reached for this, but I used to love this eyeliner. I need to reach for that more. And then I also have this one. This was from the Game of Thrones collaboration, and this is in the shade Lannister Gold, which those two look so freaking similar, but I love this sort of like metallic shade. I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna keep both of these. I have this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow in the shade Four Jungle. I feel like I got this when I wanted to get more into like winged eyeliner and I thought this would be like a really easy shade to do it with which I've never done I've barely worn this eyeliner I swear but I do love that shade I love a good like ever forest like grungy green I'm thinking of like I could easily pair this with the melt Gemini palette so I'm gonna keep that let me swatch my other greens next to this so I have the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on in the shade high vibes which is very similar to that but this almost has more of like a black base or a deeper base and this one has more metallic to it i'm gonna keep this and then i also have the urban decay 24 7 glide on in the shade mildew Ooh, that mildew shade is like that is super pretty where is that right here i don't know if it'll pick up on camera but that's like a almost like a christmas green that's what that reminds me of i'm gonna keep this as well which brings me to just these one two three four five left okay so let's swatch this one from Ilya. this was not my favorite formula but it also was just like a deep chocolate brown shade it was in the shade dusk there it is swatch right there it still swatches actually really well it glides on nice and smooth so i'll keep that because i can always use a brown eyeliner are the rest of these black? I feel like some of them might be brown. Okay, this is a brown. Ooh, that's super silky smooth. This is the Moni Waterproof Pencil Gel Eyeliner. 
in the shade two espresso latte definitely keeping that again i love me a good like deep brown and that was super smooth that glided on super smooth this one is the <coughs> elizabeth mott smooth eyeshadow creamy eye pencil in the shade raven Ooh, that one definitely sticks a little bit more than i prefer and that is a true like deep black i will say don't reach for like black pencils really all that frequently at all like i'll do a black liquid liner on my top line even to like tight line i rarely use a black pencil and when i have used a black pencil it's been the urban decay 24 7 glide on in the shade perversion which is super smooth and super creamy as well i think i'm gonna declutter raven like i don't need i really don't need more than one black eyeliner now let's see about this one this is the maybelline long lasting drama in the shade sleek onyx which is also a black do i keep two out of the three black do i keep both of these or am i going to use this so infrequently i only need one how many have i decluttered i have oh i have 70 clutters putting me at less than 30 but really do i need both i'm gonna keep both of these black pencils for right now i'm just gonna keep both of them i'm good with that i decluttered way more i thought i was gonna declutter like one or two eyeliners and i have seven here that i'll be decluttering which i actually feel really good about so i'll be decluttering these seven eyeliners keeping 29 next up we have my four eye primers slash glitter glues i'll be keeping all of these i have the smashbox 24 hour photo finish this is okay it did not turn out to be as much of a favorite as i thought it was going to be i also have the nyx glitter primer when i finish this i'll repurchase the Too faced glitter primer i just prefer that one this one from milk i think is terrible this is the hydro grip eye primer but i am trying to finish this this year i think i i'm confident i can do that and then i also have this one from fenty beauty this is a new purchase for me i purchased this because i just wasn't super happy with this one i probably could have waited it was like a weak moment but i'm going to be keeping all four of these here are all of my cream and liquid shadows we can start with my liquids because i think there are less yes there are less liquid shadows so i just have these four i have um two from stila these are new to my collection this year why i decided to purchase these i really don't know i definitely did not need them weak moments whatever i have wanderlust and kitten kaleidoscope i do think both of these are beautiful so i've been more into like easier one shadow and done looks this year which is how i justified this purchase this is wanderlust super beautiful wanderlust is something like a couple years ago i wanted to purchase um and then i finally did and then i have kitten kaleidoscope which is a really beautiful like pink with like a blue sparkle throughout which is like just my jam so i'm definitely keeping both of these I've, I've actually been really happy with these this this year this one from elf i know i'm gonna declutter this is in the shade mermaid shimmy this is this green liquid shadow and first of all i feel like mine's drying out and second of all i just felt like i had to layer this to like get the effect that i wanted and when i was using this shadow it was usually when i was doing like a pretty intense eye makeup look whereas like when i use these two it's usually like one shadow and done sort of looks and i felt like i just had to layer and build this and i just wasn't super happy with this formula so i'm going to declutter this and then i have the essence metal shock shadow in Oh man, I don't know what the shade is for this. It's this really beautiful like purpley pink metallic. I'm gonna keep that. I was like, maybe I can see myself decluttering this, but this is really beautiful. I just need to remind myself to use this or potentially roll this in to a project pan to inspire me to reach for this more, but I'm gonna keep this. So out of my liquid shadows, I'm going to be keeping three decluttering one. All right, next up we have cream shadows. So I'm gonna lay out my like crayons first and i'm just going to go into the three that i for sure know i'm keeping first and foremost i have this one from laura mercier in the shade rose gold i'm currently working on panning this i'm definitely keeping that i also have this one from elf which is in, which is from their cookies and dream collection in the shade sweet cream i'm definitely going to keep this i love this on the inner corner this is definitely a kelly gooch made me buy it and then also from the cookies and dream collection i purchased this really beautiful like periwinkle blue shade it's actually called chill zone or relax i don't know one of the two both are on here um but i really enjoy this as well so i'm going to keep those three for sure and then 
I have two from Pinky Rose. So let me swatch these. So this is kind of like an eye-based sort of like concealer shade. Do I really see myself using this? This does have a nice stick to it. Maybe I'll keep this because I feel like this could be a good eyeshadow base. This is in the shade Hip Hop. And then I have the shade Jazz, which is this really pretty like copper shade, but I just don't reach for products like this all that often. And I have my Rowan 1111, not a Rowan 1111, Rowan 75 Degrees Quad, which has a shade kind of similar if I wanted a base like this. I don't think I've reached for this once since having this in my collection. So I'm gonna declutter this. And then I have these two from the e.l.f. Electric Mood collection. So this is in the shade, I'm not sure what shade this is. <clears throat> this is like a bronzy brown. And then I have this one. Ooh, that's pretty, which is more of like a metallic that does have a bit of glitter running through it. But I feel like this could actually be really pretty for like a neutral. Oh, I feel like that could be super pretty. Okay. I'm gonna declutter this bronzy brown one, but I'm gonna keep this like champagne shimmery one. So that means out of my cream shadows in the crayon form, I'll be keeping five, decluttering two. Which leads me to these potted shades. I feel like I'm missing my tart chrome paint pot. There it is. Okay, so I have two of the tart chrome paint pots. Maybe we'll just start there. So up first I have Wild at Heart which is this really, really beautiful, like pinky blue shade. I freaking adore this. I'm definitely keeping this. And then I also have the shade Top Yacht, which is this really beautiful golden champagne shade. Like it's truly so beautiful and so metallic. I just don't find myself reaching for this that frequently. Ooh, but I don't know if I can see myself decluttering that either. I'm gonna put this aside on the maybe side. I'm gonna keep my Auric um, Smoke Reflect in the shade Defiance. This is something that's going in my whole collection, Project Pan. And I also just love Sam Ravindel. I do wanna keep this in my collection. There is a cream as well as a lid topper on that. This one from Victoria Beckham, I know I'm gonna be keeping. This is in the shade Tea Rose. This is a really, really beautiful shade. It's like this rose gold, like satiny, like sometimes it looks pink, sometimes it looks bronze. It's such a beautiful shade. I'll definitely be keeping that. This one from Jaclyn Cosmetics in the shade Icicle. I actually really enjoyed using this. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. That's super pretty. I like the way that that, that's more of like a lid topper. I really like the small glitter particles running throughout that. So I'm gonna keep that. This one from Hourglass, I could see myself decluttering, but let me swatch it first. See, that's really beautiful, but I just don't find myself reaching for this type of shade, especially in like cream shadow form. Like I can just reach into an eyeshadow palette if I wanna use a shade like this, rather than go through the hassle of a cream shadow. I just personally don't love going through the hassle of using a cream shadow all the time. This is in the shade Vivid, by the way. It's the Hourglass Scattered Lights. So I think I'm going to declutter this one from Hourglass so I can at least have one cream shadow declutter for sure. And then this from ColourPop, this is in the shade Laurel. It's their cream shadow. I purchased this to see if it was a dupe for the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I really just never even really got around to using this. But that actually might be a good dupe for that. And this could be a good base for eyeshadow. So I think I'll keep this just because I haven't really played around with this one that much at all. Which brings me to, okay, so we have five for sure keeps, one for sure declutter back into the tart chrome paint pot. I actually, dang, I've actually used more of that than I thought I had. Um, I don't think I'm gonna declutter this if I'm being honest. I don't wanna declutter just to declutter. And that's actually so pretty. Yeah, I'm not gonna declutter this. Okay, out of my potted cream shades, I'm gonna be keeping six and then decluttering one. Okay, next up, we are into my like ColourPop Super Shock shadows and just like single eye shadows. I have a couple of um, like eyeliners here as well. Maybe we'll just start with the eyeliners. So up first I have this one from ColourPop. It is a cream gel color. Um, 
Oh boy. This is like a pastel match, but I do have still a pastel like crayon eyeliner from ColourPop that I kept and I just don't reach into potted eyeliners all that often. So I'm gonna declutter this one from ColourPop. I have another one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Get Paid. I used to use this all of the time, but this is so old in my collection. It's a really beautiful copper shade. But again, I also kept a couple of crayon, like copper crayons. I'm thinking of like Urban Decay Starfire. And I obviously reach into that over this. So I'm gonna declutter this one as well. I am gonna keep my two from Inglot though. I love Inglot for gel eyeliners. I have the black from them, which actually maybe that's gone bad. That kind of feels like it's gone bad. Like that feels like I should declutter that. Okay, I'm gonna declutter this from Inglot. This feels like it has gone off. This was in the shade 77. And then I have this metallic one as well, which looks like I need to declutter. That looks like that has gone bad and that's very old. This is in the shade 94. A really beautiful like metallic. Yeah, that's super sticky. I guess I have crayons that I kept like these as well. So I actually am de decluttering all four of my like potted gel eyeliners. I wanna do pigments next before we get into like all the single shadows. Um, so I have this one from MAC. This is the blue brown pigment. I don't reach for eyeshadow pigments. And while this is beautiful, I have tons of blue brown eyeshadow shades in my collection that I would just rather reach for over a MAC pigment. Over time, I've slowly but surely convinced myself that I can declutter my pigments. This is the last like true rainy, remaining pigment I believe in my collection. So I'm gonna declutter this. I have this from Pat McGrath. This is one of her angel dust. I guess this is considered a pigment as well. So I do still have a pigment in my collection. This is really glittery. Do I wanna keep that or not? It was really annoying to use. It's a really beautiful shade but I feel like I could get like the same effect from like an indie eyeshadow and I just like, I honestly think that using pigments is such a hassle. I'm gonna declutter this as well, actually. Go me. We've decluttered everything so far. From Artist Couture, this actually should probably go in with my highlighters. This is in the shade Coco Bling. It was a little sample size of the Coco Bling highlighter, which, I don't know why I even put this with the rest of my pigments. I love the Artist Couture Loose Highlighter in Summer Haze. This Cocoa Bling is very silvery. Definitely not something I would use as a face highlight and I haven't used it yet once as like an eyeshadow pigment. So actually I'm gonna declutter this one as well. Okay, that, do you guys think I'll be able to get this into all? There's a nasty hair for me. <laughs> do you think I'll be able to get this all into one ice cube tray? Like, should that be the goal? Honestly, these Kaja, like Earhearts, probably don't necessarily need to be in my ice cube trays. So maybe that should be the goal because then I would really only have to declutter a few things. Anyway, my Kaja stacks. I'm definitely keeping Chocolate Dahlia. I love this, especially for travel for work. This is just something so easy to stick into like a travel bag. Works really well. I also have Glowing Guava, which I'll be keeping. It's a really beautiful pink and mauve toned. Oops. Come on. Really? Do I? Hmm. Hold on. Do I want to keep this? Or do I not need this one? Like that's a really pretty shade, but like really do I need to keep this? If I'm going away for work, I always reach for browns. I feel like maybe I can get rid of glowing guava. I think I'm gonna do it. In the spirit of decluttering and like truly feeling overwhelmed by my collection, I can't remember the last time I reached for glowing guava. I'm gonna declutter this as well. Still in this ice cube tray, I have this single from the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. I now own the Natasha Denona Zendo palette, so I can declutter this single. These two from Urban Decay are not going anywhere. They are the Moon Dust Shadows. I have the shades Lithium as well as Solstice. And then I actually have one in the old packaging as well. This is Space Cowboy. I love the Moon Dust Shadows. I'll be keeping all three of these. Is it time to finally declutter <laughs> Midnight Cowboy though? I feel like I keep keeping this with the intention to use it. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't need that. I have that in 10,000 palettes that I own. I love the shade. 
have gone through a full pan of this in the past, but I don't need this anymore. Decluttering. Yes, go me. Okay, so that leaves me with these three melted chrome paint pots from Essence. These are really fun. I love these for like a good intense uh, option from the drugstore. So like, look at that. Like that is literal melted chrome for your eyelids. This is in the shade two iconic. I'm definitely gonna keep that. I also have this one, which I had to kind of like repress in. Oh, just so intense and beautiful. This is in the shade one, Zinc About You. I will be keeping that as well. And then I have the shade seven, which is Warm Bronze. That's super pretty as well. Yeah, I'm gonna keep all three of these. Love these so much. All right, and then moving into the second ice cube tray, I just have Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop, which I really like, but honestly should stop buying because I just prefer like my eyeshadow palettes for single single shadows. Definitely gonna keep this one from ColourPop um, in collaboration with Halo Top. This is in the shade by the pound. Obviously, I'm trying to pan this one in my whole, not whole collection, Partners in Cream Project Pan. So I'm gonna keep this. I am not sure about this one yet. This is another one in that same collaboration. This is in Extra Sprinkles. I've also been trying to pan this for so long. I'm gonna declutter this. This is just, it's clearly getting old, it's flaky, and I have this type of shade in so many singles, so I'm actually gonna declutter that. Let's see, what else is super old? This is another old one in my collection. This is in the shade Copilot. It's a really beautiful pink, but I have that a million times over. Gonna declutter that, yes. I feel like I've tried to declutter this before, but like we're serious this time. This is in the shade Moonwalk. This is a really beautiful, I think like red green, yeah. I actually really like that shade. And while I probably could get the same effect from like the shade sponsored maybe out of the ABH Jackie palette. I just like the way that that one lays on the eyes. I'm gonna keep this one for right now. All right, what do we have here? This is in the shade Prickly Pear. I feel like, ooh, oh. Well, that's interesting. I was gonna say, I feel like I could declutter this one because it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna declutter that. That does not get me excited. Decluttering that. I'm gonna keep both Koosh and, um, and Ritz. Maybe I'll keep Koosh. This is like my second Koosh. I repurchased this a couple of times and it continually breaks like this. I don't know if it's something like specifically with the way this shade is formulated. I'm gonna keep Koosh. And then I have Ritz, which is really similar to Space Cowboy from, um, from Urban Decay, but I mean, I like both of them. I'm definitely keeping that. Let's see, I have this one from the Tinkerbell collection, which I think I'll probably declutter. Like this just, mm, no, I'm gonna declutter that. Uh, I have plenty of similar things in indie single shades I'd rather reach for. Okay, I have this one from Ace Beauté. I always thought that this shadow was really, really beautiful. It's this really bright copper metallic shade, but I haven't reached for this in so long. Do I wanna keep this? It's so pretty, but honestly, I just feel like I don't need this in my collection. I'm gonna declutter it. In the spirit of, again, feeling like I have an overwhelming collection. Then I have this one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Flower Child. I really like this shade. If I'm remembering correctly, it's been a little bit since I've reached for it, yeah. Definitely keeping that. That's a really beautiful, like golden champagne with glitter. I do really like that shade, so I'll keep that. No matter if I keep these or not, we have, we have gotten down to a single ice cube tray, which makes me so freaking happy. I didn't think, I didn't expect this. When I went into this, I was not expecting to declutter this much. So from the ColourPop Wild Child collection, this Super Shock is in the shade Basic Instinct which is a really beautiful bronzy shade. But again, this is like that type of shade where if I'm gonna reach into something like this, I have palettes with this same shade. So I'm gonna declutter that. And then I also have the shade Run Wild. This looks like something I might keep. Ooh, I don't know. 
it has some really pretty like almost pink sparkles running through i think i'll keep that i'll keep run wild we'll do that okay i'm gonna keep this one okay so that means out of my eyeshadow potted collection i am keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and decluttering five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen between my eyeliners pigments and single shadows so decluttering 16 and only keeping 13 i'm very happy with that all right guys that is going to wrap it up for part four in my declutter series don't forget to check back at the end of this week for part five the finale where we will be decluttering all of my lip categories thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye